happened in here. What do you mean? Well, it looks different. Oh. I tied it up. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling today? Still can't believe he's gone. It doesn't make any sense, does it? Instead of hanging up on him, I should have went up there and talked to him. Maybe I could have helped. No one could have predicted what would happen. He died thinking that I'd turn my back on him. He deserved better. Hey, stop beating yourself up about it. None of this is your fault. How about we go back upstairs and see what I can do to take your mind off it, huh? No, I just... I can't stop thinking about Dawn. Dawn? I'm worried about her. You saw her, she's shaken up. Yeah, poor Dawn. I have to say, you really helped yesterday. Did I? Yeah, considering she's been you know, really weird with you recently. You offering to help, that was really cool. Well, it's times like these we all need to pull together. She's such a frail thing. She's not strong enough to cope with something like that. She's stronger than you think. You know what? We should totally check in on her later. <laughs> really? She obviously means a lot to you. And you mean a lot to me. So, let's put on a united front and show her who her friends are. I thought you could probably do getting out of the house. We've both been so worried. I'm all right. You're not all right at all. Look at the state of you. I've just had a lot to deal with. Finding Ben, you know, it's... Um, it's really messed me up. Mm, I'm not surprised. We don't have to talk about it. There are those moments in life that stick with you. The painful stuff. It's always there, under the surface. I found a body once. My best friend, Nadine. I didn't know that. Why would you? It's taken a long time to be able to talk about it without falling to bits. She took her own life. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I tried to help her, but it was way too late. I'll never forget how cold she felt. How'd you cope with it? Um, I tried to bury it, kept busy, but it only made it worse. Believe me, talking helps. Maybe you should try and describe what you saw. Um, I'm not ready for that. Just saying things, releasing it, is a really powerful step in healing. What was it like? Horrible. Describe it. Uh, I, can't, it's fine. I can't. I'm sorry. Just, just seeing him there with all that blood, it's just brought up a lot of stuff. Like what? Ben's not the first dead body that I've seen. It's like death follows me everywhere I go. Who else did you see? Come on, you're with friends. You can tell us anything. You don't have to put yourself through this. Billy, she was about to open up. You obviously didn't want me to hear something. It's not like that. OK. So tell me what it is, hmm? What's the big secret? There is no big secret. Um... It's my Uncle Max. He died when I was six and they put his open casket in the living room. And seeing him there, it just gave me nightmares for years. You're obviously a very sensitive soul. Yeah. And it is way too early for me to be speaking about Ben, so I think I better go. And the...